Like most companies during this unprecedented time, Vicon has been operating remotely to attend to our customers' needs. The health and safety of our employees and customers are our number one priority. The process has been seamless as our employees work from home and conduct online meetings, product demos, and facilitate routine business activities. Let's get up close and personal with some of our team members and learn how they're being productive working from home. I think it's been pretty cool. So, you know, even before I, I personally took any of this seriously, uh, Vicon definitely did. Um, you know, there was a lot of preparation at the office, you know, uh, I saw a lot of people having little side meetings and things like this, and they were talking about how do we, how do we adapt? How do we work from home? Um, and I thought, you know, in hindsight, that's pretty cool. I mean, we, we got it all up and going really, really fast. Uh, I, I feel like there hasn't been a significant impact for our organization. Uh, and, I, and I think it's really amazing that, um, you know, they took it seriously and they prepared. And, you know, I mean, I have friends and, uh, you know, family that are, are still expected to go in and do X, Y, Z. And, and it wasn't until a few weeks later that their companies actually began to, you know, really do anything about it. I would say just try to emulate your typical day at the office at, at home, you know, the best you can, you know, whatever you would normally be doing, uh, continue to operate that same way, you know, um, you know, maybe one uh, misstep some people would make is they think, all right, you know, I'm going to bust my laptop out and get all cozy on the couch and, you know, they, they've got a giant TV in front of them or something and, and, and if that's not normal in your workplace, then it probably shouldn't be normal in the way you work at home either. So um, I would just say try to try to do what you always do and, and, you know, get up at the same time, do the same morning routine and just keep on going. Reach out to your coworkers, you know, um, I know as a remote employee, almost the bulk of my career, uh, you know, it's often, you know, you have this feeling of like you're out on the satellite, you're all alone, you know, you know what's going on. So, um, you know, rest assured, other people are feeling that same way. So I would say call up somebody that you normally would just look over your shoulder and talk to face to face in the next office or cubicle or whatever, and have a conversation with them and get their experience, laugh about something and then go back to work. I do a lot of talking on the phone and I like to, um, you know, tap into all the different, uh, you know, sort of sub organizations within Vicon. So I'm always talking to Kenny and his team and Pete Horn, who hates when I call him, but I call him all the time. And, you know, I, you know, I'm, you know, Guy, you know, Brett, you know, I, I, I reach out to people all the time and, and uh, you know, just get the conversation going. weird thing about working from home these days is that everybody else is home, you know? So that's like uh, a gift and a curse, <laughs> you know? Um, I, I always I always am traveling. I'm a, I've been a remote worker almost all my career. So uh, my favorite part, I guess, is, um, you know, uh, you know, having a little bit of autonomy to, you know, structure my day the way I want to structure it. Uh, but these days, under these circumstances with, with uh, you know, the pandemic, you know, uh, Having my family home is has been uh, really great. Uh, we've had a lot more time together, and then also, um, you know, that presents its own set of challenges at the same time. But uh, it's been pretty cool. The real challenge uh, under these weird circumstances is the lack of face-to-face -face interaction with the customers. You know, in sales, you know, you want to be present. You want to create. Um, presence within the minds of your customers and things like that. So uh, losing, you know, the travel, losing the face-to-face the -face opportunity uh, has definitely been awkward. Um, and if, if I had to point to a challenge, that would be it. Um, but you know what, it's it's made up with a lot of, a lot more little micro conversations and micro interactions. You know, it's not like, hey, we've got a meeting on the books two weeks from now, I'll talk to you then. You know, now it's like just connect in any way, shape or form, you know, a phone, an email, a Zoom or whatever it is. And there's been a lot more dialogue because I think, um, you know, uh, everybody is uh, feeling a sense of urgency, uh, 
you know, about life and their livelihood and their occupation. And, and I think everybody wants it to get back to normal and have that uh, sense of security that we may have all taken for granted. Oh, you know, do a little yoga, have a little Nespresso, you know? No, I don't know. I, you know, I walk the dog, you know? Um, I, uh, I, I've i been uh, working out with my daughter, uh, you know, I have this like wild ambition that I'm going to get back to my high school weight, but the reality is I gained five pounds. So um, I'm trying to be more active. Yeah. I'm, I'm fortunate we live in a great neighborhood. I've got a lot of friends in the neighborhood. Everybody's making jokes and standing on opposite sides of the street and stuff like that. There's a lot of, everybody's walking now. I'm, I'm, I'm the only idiot who's walking his dog three times a day every day. Now everybody's walking. So, um, but you know, for me, uh, I do a lot of uh, gardening. You know, the garage has never been cleaner. You know, um, just, just trying to tidy things up and get, uh, you know, get the lawn looking good, you know.